group of eighth grade girls and I asked them to tell me what their goals were. This one particular young lady said that she wanted to have two kids. So I said, so are you gonna have a husband? And she said, nope. And I said, please tell me why you would choose in the eighth grade to have a goal of having two kids and not be married. She said, because if I'm married to him, I can't collect child support. And then she said, um, why should I marry a man that I have kids by? He might have issues or something. He might be on drugs. And I said, well, if he's too bad to be your husband, do you really think he's going to make a better father? And that's the question. If he's too bad to be your husband, do you think he's going to be good enough to be your child's father? And the answer to that is yes. Because that question has been asked and it has been answered already. You hear many people, many women saying that I'm no longer with him, but still he is a good father to his child or children. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, I could have answered that, you feel me, uh, with that. But that video poses a good question. Uh, actually poses a good conversation because even though that has been answered um, I feel as if we should be making some more progress you know what I'm saying now she's talking to a group of 8th graders so you know what I'm saying I don't really uh, I don't know how that conversation came up if it came up somehow at home egg or you know what I'm saying because they do have you know programs to where you're gonna be carrying a baby around you know even if it's like a a fake baby you know like a sack of flour or you know they hand real babies out you know in some high schools they may be doing it who knows in, in middle schools now you know what i'm saying because they do come out with new curriculums and all that type of stuff but that's serious you know what i'm saying that's even a question that sometimes i even think about it's like if you want to have a child do you get married because if you get married then you forfeit the rights to your property half of that automatically that's on the table if you do get a divorce and prior to you getting married if you don't have any prenup that's it right there and then under certain clause if you do have a prenup that doesn't mean that you're gonna walk away with all your things not a hundred percent of the time so that's this is a real topic you know what i'm saying and if you don't find a model marriage a model relationship that you could learn from and you could model you know your relationship after your marriage after and that has been proven through the test of time man i really think it, it's it's a bad idea for you to move forward on that but if you you know you just want a child you just want to have a family and it doesn't matter if you guys move on to different people then yeah you know to each his own you feel me um and our relationships are not promised so there's that but there's this threshold of five years, seven years that it just it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't do it. If you have communication, I feel as if anything is possible, you know what I'm saying? But somewhere in those lines, you feel me? It just it is what it is. Those lines get blurred. People get bored. They get tired of that relationship. People start cheating. And then before you even get to that. How, how did you guys meet? How did you guys get together? Was it authentic? Was was it a recommendation from somebody who was previously messing or fooling around with this person or some situation like that? That child support is real. And, you know, when things hit your pocket, hit your wallet, it's real, man. When you're in the dating market, when you looking at a new mate. You're looking at the waistline, you're looking at height, you know, and how pretty are they, photogenic, and all these other things. But can you hold a conversation with this person? Is this person interesting? You know what I'm saying? Past the physical and all that, all that stuff, because that 
matters too but once you ascend that level in a relationship like how long is that three years two years a few months where you're already tired of that aspect of the relationship what else can you guys lean on and then before we even get into that look at the mindsets of women growing up today women coming up you know or little girls you know what i'm saying this is how they view this you know this is how they view a relationship so this thing is going to be changing you know what i'm saying you're going to get I, I believe that there, there probably may be new laws. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? We don't know. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about the manosphere. You're talking about things may be up for debate. Peace, I'm out.